What's up guys? Welcome back to Crypto Daily. Today, we're going to have a look at the market, see what's going on. We're going to talk quite a bit about Bitcoin. Block size increase, potentially why the miners don't want it to go ahead. New legislation, which has allowed a very big New York trading company to start trading Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash is on Coin Market Cap, so we're going to take a look at that. So having a look at the market first, let me just give it a refresh here. We can see things on Bitcoin seem to be dire. If you have a look at the day volume, you have a look at that huge dip. But one thing to keep in mind, this dip from about 2760 to 670, that's about a 3% drop. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I think it, it wasn't caused by anything in particular. I think it's just people selling. It could be a it could be a sign of things to come. I'm not sure. Were these people educated about Bitcoin Cash? Because there's more and more media attention to it now. I know we were talking about it a few days ago, but n since then it's become a really popular subject. A lot of people are learning about it. There could be some more volatility in the market. People don't like forks. So we shall see if this goes any further down. So predictably, because Bitcoin's come down, so has everything else. It's it's so crazy how how much every coin is tied to Bitcoin's price. When Bitcoin goes down a bit, some of these coins come crashing down. Um, Ethereum, I have no doubt that this this drop is caused by Bitcoin. Some others were worse for wear. Stratus down 15%, Retasium down 11 I heard that potentially that this dip was because uh, someone got hacked and they were just trying to sell those funds really quickly because they were stolen funds, basically. Whoever scooped them up at a deal is pretty good for them. Mostly everything in the red and most likely because of Bitcoin. The NEO rebranding seems to have gone through. The price has gone down. So... What must have happened was the pricing of the rebrand was factored in about a week before. People were getting in, speculating that the price would increase a week early. Uh, maybe they, they did see what happened with Digibyte in the, in the past, decided to get in. And the price that we were seeing all last week rising and was quite high, that actually had the rebrand priced in. So today it's gone back to where it should have been. Could have gone either way. But rebrand, it is now Neo. I don't like the logo very much, but it's better than a weird alien thing. So Bitcoin Cash really does have a bad rep. Um, I saw this today, um, which is very negative. Um, but I can kind of understand people's negativity towards the coin. I, I personally like it. I, I think that it's... It's a good idea, but I can understand why a lot of people don't. If you're if you're an investor and you're thinking about Bitcoin attracting more customers, if they come to the market and they see two Bitcoins and they're like, well, what's this one? Then it can get quite confusing. And then if you're trying to explain to them the politics behind it, like, oh, yeah, uh, so the, the miners, uh, they didn't want to go with a block size increase because they felt like they would be losing money. So they came up with this other solution called SegWit, which isn't really a block size increase. It doesn't really help with scalability. And there was a lot of infighting and the, so they decided to split. It just doesn't sound very good. It's just like the, the DAO hack with Ethereum. People are like, well, what's Ethereum classic? Oh, Ethereum got hacked for millions of dollars, so they forked the chain so that the thieves didn't get as much money. Uh, it doesn't give anyone a lot of confidence to talking about that. So I can understand from, from that point of view why general opinion for Bitcoin Cash is going to be negative. So what's going to happen with Bitcoin Cash? I don't know. Um, I think that the more people that don't like it, potentially the better deals for people that do. So who knows? Um, I personally think that Bitcoin is always going to be bigger than Bitcoin Cash just because of the name. Because it's Bitcoin. It might not be the same deal as Ethereum versus Ethereum Classic. It might be more of a tighter race, but honestly, I don't really see Bitcoin being dethroned ever. Not, not, at, not at present, at least. But Bitcoin Cash is on CoinMarketCap. It's called Bitcoin Cash Futures because it doesn't even exist yet. It's pure speculation. $440 for one Bitcoin cash. It keeps fluctuating wildly um, and seems to be on the down, but who knows? It, it, it's so difficult to know what's gonna happen to this because if you have a look at the markets, it's only sold on one Chinese exchange. I've had a look at it. it. They do have an English version, but as far as I understand, if you wanna buy some now, you have to send them your Bitcoin and 
kind of trade it for Bitcoin Cash, which I personally don't want to do. I'd rather just buy it with with fiat. But if you want to do that, you have to do it with yen and you have to be a citizen because you need some sort of ID number or your passport number. And if you don't have one of those, then you're not allowed to buy there. So for pretty much most of the population, they can't buy any yet. And I imagine all the exchanges will get in on it when the fork actually happens. But yeah, it doesn't it, we don't know what the market cap is for this. But I think it's been estimated that it's around 20% of Bitcoin's current. I don't know if that's going to be the case when it's released. We don't know how much hash power is going to follow this coin and it needs hash power because if it doesn't get a certain amount of hash power, it just won't exist because you won't be able to mine the blocks. Uh, there's been talk of Bitcoin Cash reducing the difficulty for miners, at least in the beginning, so that they can survive. But there's also talk of them getting DDoSed or getting attacked with denial of services so that they can't operate, they can't, they can't be online basically, which will most likely happen. Most likely big companies mining Bitcoin Cash will be DDoSed, uh, just harassed into the ground. So this might, this might never take off or it might just have a really rocky start. I imagine it would be the latter. Imagine that the start's gonna be really rocky, but then who knows what the future holds for this coin. So L Ledger X LLC, who are they? They want approval from the US government to trade Bitcoin options. What's an option? An option is the ability for an investor to buy into Bitcoin they have the right to buy at a certain price and buy it and sell at a certain price for a limited period of time. Ledger X LLC want to offer one to six month Bitcoin to dollar options to begin with and with plans to future scale that out. Now, Ledger X LLC are a New York based exchange who are backed by none other than Alphabet Inc., which, if you didn't know, is an investment arm of Google or the other way around. That's how big they are. That's how big of a new, that's how big of a deal they are. So th this is huge for two reasons. First, it's the first uh, trading company to have been given the rights by the government in US history to offer Bitcoin options. So that kind of opens the floodgates, sets a precedent for other people to do the same. Second, it brings market attention to a new type of market. It brings potential investors who might not have ever invested otherwise into the space. This is another step in the cryptocurrency community's efforts for the sector to mature and draw in a broader user and investor base, which can only mean good things. So a lot of stuff happening with Bitcoin in the in 2017. A lot of people saying Bitcoin is or 2017 is Bitcoin's year. I guess I agree with that. The amount of growth that it's seen this year has been phenomenal. But similarly, a lot of the difficulties it's had this year is phenomenal. So you could argue the point. Either way, that 2017 was good or bad for Bitcoin. Bitcoin.com has announced they plan to support Bitcoin Cash if the miners don't go ahead with the two megabyte block size increase. Now, why wouldn't they go ahead with what they said they would? It w certainly would be a, a huge upset. It'd be a betrayal. Um, they go ahead with SegWit and then they don't they don't give the promise two megabyte increase, but it is possible. It's theorized that miners don't want to increase the block size. They like it the way it is. They like high fees. And some of the fear that I believe the mining companies have is that if they were to raise the block size limit, they would suddenly start to earn less money. And, and, I'll, and I'll explain why. We have a look at this post here. This was on Butcoin, not Bitcoin. Reddit Bitcoin. Uh, there's a lot of censorship on the Reddit Bitcoin thread, less so on the Reddit BTC, but Bitcoin pretty much has none. According to this poster, talking about a guy named Greg, he was one of the um, first people that were hired by Satoshi himself, I guess, to help out with, with Bitcoin um, just before Satoshi left the scene. And Greg posted to Bitcoin Talk his conclusion that unlimited blocks were dangerous to miners. He claimed that when the block reward dwindled, miners would undercut each other's transaction fees until they all went bankrupt. Which if you've invested millions and millions of dollars, that's the last thing you want to hear. That's the last thing you want to do. And they kind of have control over what happens with Bitcoin. So they've put off a block size increase for years and years and years. And this is potentially the reason why. However, it, it's, it's not certain that Greg knows what he's talking about here. It's not certain that 
what he's claiming is even true. It's been theorized it's not. I personally don't know. I don't understand enough about the subject. He had a different idea of scaling called layer a layer two, an extra layer on top of Bitcoin, going against the original design of Bitcoin, or with an idea to make more money, basically. So that's why Bitcoin Cash is, in my mind, a very interesting coin and something I'd like to invest in because it's not, it's got the original Bitcoin without adding anything unnecessary extra to it. So we've got SegWit, but SegWit is not a real scaling solution. We need a scaling solution, but SegWit is kind of, it's a kind of an add-on that increases potential short term, but long term actually makes things harder to scale. It's a lot harder to scale in future because of SegWit. I think Bitcoin has increased tenfold, at least on Coinbase, they have 10 times the amount of people using it than they did this time last year. So what's going to happen in a year, two, three years? We're going to need to scale again because this scaling solution just isn't good enough. And what's going to happen in the future? So, I mean, that's why I like the idea of Bitcoin Cash. It has the ability to scale limitlessly. It, it has the idea of scaling to visa levels, which is, again, hundreds of thousands of transactions per second, not 12 or 15 that Bitcoin might be looking at doing now. But Bitcoin.com have stated that if the two megabyte block size increase from Segwit2x does not go ahead, they are going to put all of their... Um, cloud mining contracts to Bitcoin Cash exclusively. So they're attempting to strong arm the miners into going and doing what they said they would, hold them to their word, or a huge website like Bitcoin.com is not going to support them anymore. But what's interesting about this statement is that they, they say, due to significant demand from our users, the Bitcoin.com pool will give mining customers the option of supporting Bitcoin Cash. Due to significant demand. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm super excited to see what, what Bitcoin Cash will do. Make sure you keep your private keys. Make sure you get access to your Bitcoin Cash when it forks. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.